What's up, everyone, and welcome back. This is episode seven of the Road to SSL series, the series where I show you how I'd rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. In this video, we're climbing through the legendary Champ 2 ranks. Honestly, I don't even know how to explain what happened on this stream. If you're Champ 2 watching, pay attention closely. Now's the time. Also, for the returning viewers, I want to let you guys know we just reopened enrollment for season 12 of my private coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. So at the time this video drops, we're reopening season 12, but we're putting a 200 player limit on this season. So if you're plat through Champ ranked watching, and you want to get to GC or even SSL in just six weeks or less, DM me with the keyword now, and we can talk details and hold a spot for you before we sell out. Links down below. Otherwise, let's get started. We are currently ranked just below champ two. We've got two or three placement games left. This is going to be an exciting one. I think last stream we dominated a little bit too much, maybe. So hopefully this will be a, a little bit more of a fair fight getting into champ two. People are going to have some decent mech. So I'm excited to see if we can continue the, the win streak and see where we get placed. Okay, jumping into game number one, we are currently ranked 1151. I think somebody in chat last episode said champ two is 1195. And since we're in placements, we're getting like 20, 30 MMR. So if we pick up, uh, if we pick up two wins here, we'll probably be two, three wins. We'll be well into champ game one. We got some guy with 600 ping on the opposing team. Yikes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I've been speed flipping. I'm going to continue to speed flip. Not really trying to dominate the kickoff though, but okay, I guess I do there. Here, I'm gonna actually stay up just because I have a hunter boost, and once he hits it there, I'm gonna move back. Unfortunately, my teammates push up way too far. That's all right. Just control corner boost. Once I see him flying, like there's just no reason to pressure here. I'll just continue going back. My teammate has an easy clear. He puts it probably more into the sidewall than he should, but that's all right. I'm gonna play the ball over to the corner here. Once again, turn back because there's no real pressure. Um, I'd pre jump a little bit to block a potential shot. And I think I missed an open there. So it is what it is. <laughs> oh, he should be all right. Teammate's gonna, teammate's gonna clutch up. Mostly focus on playing the ball by him there. Looks like he has a shot, he has me beat. So just once again, focus on controlling corner boost. Don't really need to do anything special. Turn back and just let them all overcommit. You can you can sense the ball chase in these champs. <laughs> these guys just wanna go, go, go. So I'll show you, we'll, we'll, we'll get into how you can punish that. Here, I'll just wait back. It looks like he's going to get a clear. He hit it quite hard, so I'm actually just going to try to hit this ball to the side. That's going to play it out for us quite easily, and I might be able to get a demo on him. Not quite. He has no angle, so I'm just going for corner boost. And once I see him challenging, just getting a little direction change to play with it. Going to back up, get a one soft touch. That should cover it. He gets a heavy first touch. I'll turn back. No pressure here. Just watching, watching the center of the field, keeping the ball in the corner. I'm just playing it safe. Gonna drive up around, stay behind it, play safe. Um, unfortunately, I, I think this is my fault. I should have got a better 50 here. Um, this is kind of what happens when you play in your corner like that. I don't know how that. Some, sometimes that'll happen. Whatever. Is what it is. I'll cheat up. You gotta get good at 50 50s in your corner, and I did not do it there. This is kind of questionable. Not sure what's happening. They're hitting the ball, so I'll, I'll just wait back. Drive up the wall, get a single double, uh, single jump. That should clear it pretty safe. Ball's going to bounce center here, and there's really nothing I can do. So I'm just going to wait back. Teammates off to the side. I might be able to turn on this, but really just focused on not jumping, not committing if there's not anything I can do in particular. All right, they kind of mess up, so I'm just going to play patient here. Not push up too far because um, I team see my teammate still off to the left. He probably wants to go for this ball. So once again, I'm just playing back um, because... That will happen, and I need to be back for when my teammate does that. And then because I'm back, we literally just get free opens. And see, like, this is why, like, even if you see your teammate going, just don't go. Like, like just wait back, because when they mess up, you have to be back for them. And if you're not back for them, it's not, you, we, it's not their fault, because we knew they were going to mess up. They're champ one, right? So if you want to get out, you have to, you have to expect them to miss like that and be the one that's, be the one that's back. I'll go out to the left. Here, I'm just going to play the small pad game. He missed boost, so I'll pick that up. And 
really i'm just waiting here this he might have that ball so i'm just gonna turn back because risk reward my teammate's still caught up front i just want to buy time for my teammate here i'm just really trying to buy time and clear the ball if my teammate trusts me there and lets me save and he's a net we're totally fine but i i could contest this guy earlier um my teammate is just i'm buying time for my teammate and my teammate's just playing under me which is like not ideal but i could have got a better clear so that one's on me uh teammate should have this he's gonna go for side boost so i'll just instantly go back pick up boost and move up mirror pads he could do that but he can't position this is the problem with champ this is why you're champ watching right now if you're watching and you're like i can air dribble i can double tap that's why you're champ uh we get 50 into the corner gonna flip back here play half boost once i see him miss turn back up just keep eyes on the play this might bounce up so i'll just let him miss put a basic shot on net and almost result in a free goal if i go around there i could probably get a shot on that but in any case how did i not get that boost you're kidding me that had to have been a glitch let him just kind of bop the ball away for no reason play under it let him continue to bop it and just not really commit i didn't have a beat there so i'm not gonna flip if i don't have a beat and here i'm kind of rotating through the center i shouldn't do that but that's what you do if you do find yourself rotating through the center. Just rotate like that. Here, I'm going to get one touch up. Oh, I messed up my first touch. Happens. Go back for the corner that my teammate took. Fair enough. So I'll get one beat over. Wave dash down. And here, I'm just watching, watching, watching. Here's somebody behind me. So I flip it up. And I can try to bump him. Teammate gets a nice follow-up. Here, uh, that was probably a little bit too good of a kickoff. But once I do get that, I'm going to look for the demo and try to clear the way here i see this guy kind of push up too far i'm gonna look for a demo again unfortunately don't get it teammate will get a nice beat there tx palms is pushed up too far they would have had a free goal if the second man was just waiting back on if palms are just waiting back but you know can't be waiting back this is champ here just don't panic play it to the side snake around the ball keep getting little beats i'm gonna use my neutral jumps to, to recover quicker there you see what I did? I'm just turning my car down and double jumping. It's like fast aerial off the ceiling. Here, grab corner boost, power slide around, donk it off the wall, follow it up, shot. Nothing fancy about that, but most people would just shoot it on net. I, I see the guy front post, right? So just bang it off the wall. I'll go back left here. Ball's gonna come to the side. He looks like he has it, so I'll just wait back. Uh, I actually can't get to that ball in time, so I'm just gonna watch net here, right? knowing when you can't go for the ball and just watching net is important they're they're putting good shots on net but i'm always back post so the saves are easy why are the saves easy because i'm always back post like it's not because i'm like insanely mechanical or like that's not something you can't do it's just you're probably out of position more than i am so it looks easier for me eventually they will get a goal i should have been picking up boost while i was commentating but should be able to wrap this one up I'm gonna get it back to my teammate. Go pick up half boost. And should be all right to win this game. Here, I'll just play back. And that's game. Sick, so game one is actually pretty close. Um, I feel like we should have won that by a lot more, but eh, it is what it is. I think teammate could have played better. I could have played better for sure too. Enable him better, but people are starting to get mechanics. Nine of 10 placements, let's see where we're at. Okay, update is we're at 1179, so actually only gaining like 15 or 20 MMR per placement, uh, but we'll be champ two after this game. Jumping into game two, we got Merc against Jace and Yipa. All right, ball's gonna go high. Just focus on controlling boost, watching net. He looks like he's going. Nothing intimidating. If my teammate lets me save that, it's probably better, but... It is what it is. Here, just focus on creating, getting boost. My teammate looks awkward, so I'm gonna push up um, just so that I can buy some time for him. He looks like he doesn't have boost, so I'm just gonna go. Here, I'll watch net. Ball's coming, he's gotta save. Just waiting to see, make sure he saves it. Still stay in net because I think a shot might come. And now I'll go to the side, grab boost, control boost, and we're fine. If my teammate stops hitting the ball, actually, I could probably take it out for us, but it is what it is. I'll just play back. You know, when your teammates are like this, you just got to take the high road. Just get a soft touch there, and when I see him challenge, I can get one more beat. I'll play that off to the side. Hold power slide to recover. 
And now I got to get back for my teammate. He gets a nice beat. I'll turn upfield, play across here. I might be able to rush to this. Fake child because there's no real play for me to be made there. Just hit into the corner control boost. They've got nothing here. They should have pretty much no angle. So I just want to control this boost here. Play around this boost. It's pretty safe for us. Um, so we'll, so we'll kind of just stay here. Play on the backboard in case he gets a beat. And I, I, I could have been ready to save that. I probably had more faith in my teammate than I should have. So get, get, get a decent kickoff. Since it's not great, I'm going to go back and assume my teammate's going to get beat. Grab corner boost, wait back. Nice, he whiffs. My teammate shouldn't be flipping so much, but now I just got to kind of buy time for him because he's out of the play. So I'll just control corner boost, watch centers. Keep controlling the boost, yeah! watch centers. Should be totally fine here. Like, my teammate's just, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, we're going to have to definitely carry this game. These t his, my teammates' touches are just very useless across the board. So we'll have to watch out for him. Teammate will get a 50. I'm going to just make one touch there, hit it hard off the wall, and then kind of try to go for a shot. Could have probably put that on that, but it is what it is. Here I'm going to control their boost. Keep boosting. Dodge demo. And my teammate just keeps going for the ball with no boost. If he just lets me go, we could do something, but there's no nothing we can do here. Here it looks like it's going to bounce center, so I'll just go wide. Cover for my teammate and hopefully let him get back. That guy just pushes up too far, so we get a freebie. Not really doing anything special here. Um, I'm just, tr I'm basically just trying to play around my teammate, right? I, I know this guy isn't, you know, he's, he's out of position a lot, which means my positioning has to be, you know, spot on. I don't have to do anything fancy. I just have to, I just have to be very, very safe. And I mean, obviously a lot of it's game sense and just experience, but this guy's going to go for an air dribble. He looks like he lost it. Oh, he got a reset. Nice. I did not think he got a reset there, but champ twos can reset, I guess. Like, see, if you're my teammate, just like, he's just going for tons of one touch plays. Like none of these plays are like, he just keeps hitting the ball away. Like none of his plays have any misdirection or sideways movement or anything like that. And that's. And that's like, like no, notice how when I get the ball, it's one soft touch. Wait, 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 wait. Then hard touch. But in any case, like see all these touches from my teammate. They're just one touch plays. None of them really do anything here. I'm going to push up, but I'm going to keep the net in front of me. Notice how I like pivot around to try to keep that net in front as long as I can. And if my teammate doesn't commit, commit there and he just waits behind me, we're fine. I should probably I should be cheating up there, but I went back for boost. He's gonna clear that out to the side. My teammate looks like he wants to turn, so I'll just I can't really go while he's in front of me, so I'll just wait behind him, you know? If he doesn't like signal to me that he's going out, what the heck is going on? Then I can't go. Ball's gonna go off here. I'm gonna bang this against the wall. Or actually. I'll just go on net. Watch shot here. Oh my. Okay, we're lagging quite a bit. This ball's gonna bounce out. I'm just gonna focus on grabbing boost. We'll be fine. Teammate recenters for them. And then. Okay. And then he hits me with the need boost command. <laughs> Dude, he centered the ball for them and then went for it. <laughs> Bruh. No, no hate, no hate. All right, we'll rotate back. Well, I was going to come here. I'm going to play this out to the left. So, oh, my bad. He's hitting me with the take the shot command. I thought that would play it out to his left, but he just dunks me. I should have just gone for a 50. My mistake. Decent beat. He should keep it in the corner so I can get corner boost. Maybe he'll let me go. Play it to the side of this one guy. And I'll go for some mechanic here. Oh, now he stops me. Good call. I can turn on this ball. Get one hard touch. Almost cuts it over. And I get a dink. That's probably a little too mechanical, but it's just... Ugh. That I probably shouldn't be allowed to do that. Give them a goal. We're probably going to have to lose this game. But 
Like my teammate just like, why, why would you make Like I have to step in and make that touch after my teammate hits it forward. But like, why would you make that touch? It's just not a good touch. Like no champ, no, if it's not like me playing, no champ is going to score that. Here I'm turning back, just waiting because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this guy keeps keeps saying what a save and woo. Oh my God. <laughs> and then he does that and then he takes the shot and then... <laughs> Should we tell him he's on camera or no? Should we just let him embrace, embrace the champ too in his natural habitat? They completely whiff. Let me get a freebie. <laughs> like, who are we? Who are we kidding? <laughs> and then we went on a kickoff. Because <laughs> I'm cheating and he's getting boost. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Jam two. <laughs> All right, for game three, we got some guys teamed. It's me and Red Scoops against uh, some long names. So we're just not even, we're just going to admit them. Um, here, I'm just focused on playing the ball around him. I should let my teammate go there, but I literally spawned right on the, like, I after the 50, I was right on the ball, so I'm going to follow it up. Here, it looks like he's passing, so I'm just going to cover the pass. Grab corner boost, move back. It looks like this ball's in a dangerous place, so I kind of have to fast aerial there. Um, if the ball does go up in front of your net, at some point, you got to clear it because your team's not going to have enough reaction time. Here, I'm just going to wait back. There's a lot of chaos. Ball's rolling into my corner. Perfect. Power slide. Wait. Wait back. Here, I'm just going to wait for him to go. Get a 50-50. I could start a dribble there, but he was kind of close the whole time. So I'm just waiting back. He, he gets a good soft touch and a flick, but I'm going to challenge. So my teammate gets a chance to go. I'm going to take this corner boost. Um, even though I, you know, it's a little toxic, but... But yeah. Sorry, focus on, focus on getting direction changes there. A little bit of dribbles, probably a little bit of mechs, but nothing too crazy. Let my teammate get half boost here. Play behind him. Uh, he doesn't go for half boost, which is probably a mistake. Looks like this guy's going to be first. I'll turn back. Watch the boom. Watch the boom again. He gets nothing, so now we're just going to turn this into a one-on-one -on -one as quick as possible. Watch him, because I'm dribbling on an angle so I can see him. And that bounce is a little high, but could have scored that. Dribble on a slight angle helps a lot because he gets to see so much. If my teammate like just goes back here and lets me take the ball, that'd be prime. But instead, he's going to overcommit and put me in a 2v1 as per usual. But it's okay. I'm just going to wait back. Should be able to get a save. There, guy was pushed up too far, so he doesn't get the free goal. And we can relieve pressure. Going to go for a simple double jump. Simple double jump. The control there has, is quite precise, but... The, the actual outplay isn't that complicated. Get one touch over. Double jump. Slight, slightly off. Um, but here, I'm just going to... I thought he was going to challenge me, but... I think he accidentally backflipped. I don't know. Okay. In any case, I'll cheat up. Ball's going to go to the corner. My teammate looks like he wants corner boost, so I'll go to this corner boost and come back. Kind of got to watch shot. He misses. Sweet. Just got to make sure I jump in time. I hear him over to my right. So I'm just going to keep dribbling and go for a flick. I did not think that would go in. I, I Truthfully, I flicked it because the ball was falling off my car and I was running out of boost. I, di I, I just wanted to put a shot on that. I did not think that would go in. I will cheat up here. Slight cheat. Ball's going to go back. It's over my head. So notice how I just hit the ball to the corner. Grab corner boost. And chill. I get a single jump that puts it by him pretty well. Should be safe. I get a single jump to play it up, make it awkward, and then turn back. I should have first here. I'm going to flip into it to hit it to the side a little bit. Fake jump like I'm going. Do a, do a basic kind of like air dribble bump. That's one of my go-tos if like I don't really have a play and I don't have much boost. Just jump and kind of kind of linger, linger on top of him. It's always safe, but safe bet. He's going to hit into my corner. Perfect. Literally just let it roll up. There's no threat. <laughs> See, they just overcommit. Now we have a 2v1 breakaway. My teammate kind of booms it a little too much, but you know, it is what it is. He looks like he's going here, so I'm going to jump. 
he's probably going to miss, so I'll just expect him to miss and be in position. You have to be a little bit precise with that shot, but it's not too hard of a shot. The main thing there is just notice how I'm really exaggerating that turn I make. Um, most people would just sit under the ball, and then you make the shot harder on yourself than it has to be. But you make the wide turn, shot becomes easier, you know? Just expect the miss. Basically, like, just playing the miss. Because, like, if he hits it, it's good to be back. And if he misses, it's also good to be back. So, let me just wait back. That's game three. We'll finish out with another win. We rank up to C2, Div 2. But next episode, the goal is to climb up to C2. Three. Okay, so that covers it for episode seven. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Also, if you want to catch these when they're live, my streams are actually still pretty small. So I love like engaging with you guys. If you came from YouTube, definitely go hit me with a follow on Twitch. Let me know you're watching. And if you want to be the first to know when I do go live, I actually don't have a stream schedule. So you can also hit me up with a follow over on Instagram. It's just one word, Spook Luke Graham. And uh, I'll post noties next time I'm going live for episode eight and nine, probably just a few days after this this video drops. But yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all on the push to C3. Peace guys.